Welcome back to a new video guys. I hope you had a good Christmas and hopefully this video gets uploaded before the new year but if not, and a happy new year. So we're just gonna get straight into it with this video because I can see it taking a fairly, well it's gonna be quite time consuming this modification. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you have clicked subscribe. Now behind the camera is the Audi TT. Now, I don't wanna jinx it or anything, but it might be going in this video. Well, it might be going by the end of this video. And then, but Audi TT guys or Audi guys that do follow the channel because of the TT, stay tuned because there's gonna be something that definitely you will be interested in coming up soon. Right, so let's move on to the modification that we've got today. So you may have seen probably by the thumbnail what we're gonna do, we're gonna revamp the BMW 1 Series steering wheel. Thanks to Fatbits UK, they're a company on, they based purely on Instagram, so make sure you check them out, the link is here or in the description below. Um, I'll show you what this thing actually does in a second. Let's open it up. So, as you can see, this is the old, well, it's not It's not old, it's just a one series steering wheel. I mean, we wanna do an upgrade. It's not gonna, this doesn't cost a fortune as well. It's literally so cheap. It's much cheaper than replacing the whole wheel. Now, in here, let's have a look what we've got. I'm gonna do one hand opening. Here we go. This is specially ordered by myself. So you can actually order from Fatbits customized steering wheel wraps, which sort of wrap around the steering wheel. We're gonna see how good this turns out in a minute. I mean, I've seen a few people do this and I've seen a few of their customers' reviews. They look really good. So yeah, we went ahead, we got one. Um, we've gone for Alcantara with yellow stitching, some actually yellow calipers. We're gonna stick with a black and yellow theme. Uh, right, so basically this sort of wraps over. Let's see if I can, um, I probably have to probably put the tripod up for this so I can um, sort of show you what it looks like on top of it. So give me a second. So we've got black center line here. So I think that would probably go like that. Maybe. Um, or does it go that way? Yeah, I think that way. So I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. It sort of goes on like that. And then what you have to do is, oh, we've got a cool little lanyard with it as well. Then you've got the needle and the thread and you sort of just have to sew it on. Now, so when it's on like that, you sort of, you've got the, you've got the threads here and I think you have to pretty much go in there, out the other side. I mean, it's gonna be very time consuming making sure you keep the center line in the center of the steering wheel. And in these bits, you get a little tool here, like that, and they tuck in, like underneath this trim here and everything, but I wanna make sure that it's gonna be like 100% legit and it's like not gonna come out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually just gonna take this trim off, so then at least we can sew it on and then I can put the trim on top of it, if that makes sense. I think I've give up, we're trying to get the airbag off. I know there's like a bit in here, but you see here, there's like a soft spot where you, you're you supposed to push the screwdriver in there and, and then it releases the pins which hold the steering wheel in. I'm struggling with that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna undo uh, these little holes here and hopefully that'll be able to pull the trim back a little bit so I can tuck the wrap into it. So let's give that a go. Okay, so the three bolts are loosened each side, so this is giving me enough leeway now. So this can all be tucked in nice and easy underneath it. Now I'm the worst sewer in the history, so if I can do this, I'm sure you guys can do it. So here's the bit of like cotton and needle that you get, or if you're American, yarn. You get this and you do something with this and you put it onto that. <laughs> Let's go. I've got extremely fat fingers, so this is gonna be very, very difficult for me. Um, so we get the the um, needle and a thread. I don't know if you can see this. Thread it 
through. That ain't gonna work. Let's go on this side. Thread the needle through. Yep. Okay, so we thread the needle through. And then, I think, we just double up on it. So we like, we sort of double up on ourselves. And then you tie a double knot in the end. Yes! Double knot. We got a double knot. I think I'm gonna snip the end off so it's neat, and then uh, we're gonna start sewing. Um, I might start just where one of these lines are, then I can see directly where the thread is on the other side. So, this is definitely not a how-to video. I'm just gonna send it. So, 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 with the shadows. So, I've threaded it through that side, and then I'm coming around and over the top to the underside of that there. I'm gonna pull that through, like that. And then, I'm basically gonna do every other stitch all the way down until I get to about here, and then when I get to this point here, I'm gonna do every stitch so it gets really tight around here so it doesn't get any loose or baggy. So, check back with you once I've done that. Time lapse, go. Poor thinking, need a life for the ideas. I'm in a splash zone with the brain waves. I shoot for stars up in my aim is straight. I lay in the sand line in the palisades. I'm Alec Baldwin with the angry face. I'm Christian Bale with the black on black. Man, fuck these thoughts, I'd rather save the day. But if your man is a problem, then we can change the pace. Mom is worried, I need to change my ways. I maybe got the crib, I need the redwoods. Rake the leaves up from the money trees. Plant the seeds right in behind the scenes. I painted the dream how I live it. Well, smart and beware, they venom. I swear that I'm sick, I've got issues. I'm sick with these bars, bitch, I'm privileged. Bent off a of sips of elixir. Bank roll need them commas and digits. My manner, I'm honest intended. Lay low, not too much for attention. But Ben has shit popping, I mentioned. The shit in this life, I'm offended. Fuck it, it's clear, yeah, I get it though. Give a fuck less about how they feel, that's my mood. My life been the tree, this shit looking vibrant. The pilot they know, fly shot it. Now much to say about the product, goddess. Okay, so this top bit is sort of in place at the minute. So now I'm getting to sort of a lumpy area with the handles. What I've been doing is you sort of, um, let me explain. So obviously I told you, you sort of go through one, miss one, go through one, miss one. The best way for me to explain, you always keep your needle that way. So like the thread always comes in that way, comes out that way, and then you go all the way around to the other side and then it comes out that way. It keeps going, keeps going, and keeps going. So now um, I'm gonna do every, stitch round here because it's got it's got to be really tightly stitched so we don't go all baggy like that um so i'm gonna do that now go ahead and let them decide about me stay the mind that i've acquired quiet no question my method can't check on me that's just the hatred of your fire got chillin no kind that's just the way the way we define it chase after mine yeah give me my space watch me in line pardon the tone yeah that's just the way try not to drown fuck with the sound yeah catch on the way Okay, okay, okay. So I've got it here. It is a bit saggy round here, like it's a bit loose, but I'm hoping once we tighten up this, it should all tighten up. But I mean, at the end of the day, it is a cover, it's not a real wheel, but. It's looking all right, so I think what I've got to do now, on the back here, I'm going to find out how I finish that off, and then we'll carry on. I think I'm going to start from here this time, and uh, go round, but yeah, not bad, not bad. Looking, it's looking pretty cool so far. Shit, this life is sweet, my mood is sour for what you think you could get a rose and sniff I'm woke as shit, these niggas fake So switch the switch, excuse all the temperament You can catch a nigga riding venom, it's not a fan If you ride a tenement, now I'm the shit I'm sore but the flow throw tans and they fucking with the kid Yeah, I'm on to something So, I've had a bit of luck with popping the airbag out It's came out a bit, because I want to try and get this out and, and paint it So, um, let me go and try and see if I can get the other side of the airbag out No kind of chill, lately I don't even feel shit I mean like real shit, fuck with the skill I do not have time to kill The more money I reel in, the more that they feel me is why But the way that they build this The reason I fear 
here, spilling my feels, but fuck it, I'm breaking a scrill, bitch, and keeping the drill, it's all for the moment I check off the list of these thrills, I'm trying to see Europe, drop fuck with the kid, a slit if you ride in the wheels, pivot, looking at him grimace, that's just how I'm living, put my life on the sentence, murdering the beat, give a nigga life sentence, only lord knows what I'm thinking for the minute, so I'm asking for repentance, if the cop of me appended, my life been the trend, this shit looking vibrant, the pilot they know on fly side. Okay, we got it off. Let me think. Okay, guys, it is getting dark, but I have the completed bit here. Forged carbon on the outside, gloss black in the middle, forged carbon on the other outside. And I'm gonna put it all back together now. It may get too dark to film, but um, if it doesn't, I'll check back with you guys. I'll check back with you guys when it's light again, but I will film it, but it might be too dark, let's see. So guys, that is the finished product. I mean, I think it looks pretty sick. Um, I think it looks pretty sick. Obviously, I'm never going to get the finish of a um, a stand, a, a complete steering wheel because it is only a cover. Um, it is like it is pretty solid. Like it never feels like it's going to move. Obviously, you can see the sort of creases around the side here. I don't know whether that's just my fitting or anything like that. That's the tiny downside of it. But other than that, I think it looks pretty sick, and it suits the interior like nicely. It looks really nice. The feel of it feels great. Uh, obviously, if you do want to go and check these guys out, um, the link is in the description box below. Um, I managed to paint this gloss black. I think it probably would have looked better matte black, but what can you do? I could always take it off and repaint it, but it does look sick. So a big thumbs up for that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But we have got some news for you guys. So it might be some good news here, it might be some bad news, but I hope you guys take it in good news. I know the real OGs of the channel subscribe to this to watch the Audi TT stuff on the channel. And unfortunately, the Audi TT has now been sold. But don't unsubscribe just yet. Now this is a very sad moment. I'd like to take these, I'd like to take this next 20 seconds to remember the Audi TT. Say something that will make my day. These memories of her won't go away They're haunting me so I can't sleep She Coming was a pretty little liar who cut me deep The Nardo Grey Audi TT Cause she left me here alone Now my bed feels just like cobblestone Oh oh did she go? Oh, oh. Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I the naive to think that she'd be the one? Oh, oh. Why did she go? I met her back in 2005. It was a crooked little smile that caught my eye. And it was her and I She promised me to never leave my side But she left me here alone I know it's dumb, I still check And now we've remembered the Audi TT For all it's good and all it's great And all the entertainment that we've gave to you on this channel It's time to move forward and move on with the new projects Now with 2020 We've already secured a new project car and I hope you guys as well, I definitely know that Audi TT guys are gonna love it as well. So make sure you stay tuned and stay subscribed and if you're not subscribed, click subscribe because the new, the new project is on the drive and it's ready to, well, it needs undergoing a lot of work to be honest. So 
In the next video, I will show you the new project, but I did put something on Instagram. If you do follow me on Instagram, it's right here. Um, that For you guys to guess what the car was from the sound of the exhaust. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video because I'll be showing you the new project car for 2020. I hope you've had a good Christmas and a happy new year. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.